Have you ever wondered about the essence of virtues and morality? These are profound questions that have been pondered by thinkers, philosophers and spiritual leaders through the ages. These concepts are not new. They are as old as human civilization itself and have been deeply ingrained in various religious and philosophical traditions. In every corner of the world, in every era, people have sought to understand what it means to be virtuous, what it means to be moral. Is it about following rules or is it about something deeper? something intrinsic to our very nature as human beings. Among the many voices that have spoken on this matter, one stands out with a particularly resonant message, Jesus of Nazareth. His teachings have left an indelible mark on our understanding of virtues and morality, providing a beacon of light for those seeking guidance. Now, journey with me as we delve into the teachings of Jesus on virtues. Consider the parable of the Good Samaritan, a story told by Jesus himself. Once upon a time, a man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Along came a priest who, upon seeing the man, chose to cross to the other side of the road, leaving the victim in his plight. A Levite, too, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But then a Samaritan, who was on a journey, came upon the man, and when he saw him, he felt compassion. He went to him, bandaged his wounds, put him on his own beast, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend when I return, I will repay you. The Samaritan, a man who was considered an outsider and enemy by the Jews, showed the victim kindness and compassion that his own kind did not. Through this parable, Jesus illustrated the virtues of compassion and kindness. He taught us that love and care should extend beyond the borders of our own tribes, our own religions, our own nations. It is not about who is our neighbor, but rather who we choose to be a neighbor to. The Samaritan man in this story is the embodiment of the golden rule, treat others as you would like to be treated. He saw a fellow human in distress and did not hesitate to provide aid disregarding the societal norms and prejudices of his time. And so, we are reminded that it is not about the labels we wear, be it race, religion or social status, that define our virtue. It is our actions, how we treat others, especially those who are helpless, in need or different from us. This parable teaches us that virtue is not about who we are, but about how we treat others. Another profound teaching of Jesus comes in the form of the parable of the prodigal son. This tale, as told by Jesus, is one of a father and his two sons. The youngest son, eager to experience the world, asks his father for his share of the inheritance ahead of time. Graciously, the father grants his request and the young man sets off, leaving his family and home behind. In his newfound freedom, the son squanders his wealth on reckless living. He indulges in every whim and desire, only to find himself penniless when a severe famine strikes. Hungry and destitute, he finds work feeding pigs, but even the food he gives to the swine is more than he can afford for himself. In his misery, the son recalls his father's house, where even the servants have more than enough to eat. He decides then to return home, to beg his father's forgiveness, and ask to be taken in as a servant, for he believes he is unworthy to be called a son. But when he is still a long way off, his father spots him. The father's heart swells with compassion, and he runs to his son, embracing him before the young man can utter his rehearsed apology. The father calls for a feast to celebrate the return of his lost son. For he was dead and is now alive, was lost and is now found. Meanwhile, the older son, who stayed and worked diligently for his father all these years, is filled with resentment. He cannot understand why his father would celebrate the return of a son who squandered his inheritance. But the father reminds him that everything he has is already his. The celebration is because his brother, who was assumed dead, is alive and has returned. Through this parable, Jesus illustrates the boundless capacity for forgiveness, showing that even the most wayward among us deserve a second chance. It conveys the message that redemption is possible for everyone.
We are encouraged to be like the Father, forgiving without hesitation and embracing those who have strayed when they seek to return. Through this parable, Jesus teaches us the virtues of forgiveness and redemption. Let us now turn our attention to the parable of the talents. In this tale, a master entrusts his three servants with his wealth before setting off on a journey. To the first servant, he gives five talents, to the second, two talents, and to the third, a single talent, each according to their own abilities. The first two servants, dutiful and diligent, put their talents to work and double their master's wealth. But the third servant, out of fear and laziness, buries his talent in the ground. Upon his return, the master is delighted by the first two servants who have doubled his wealth through their industrious efforts. They are rewarded and entrusted with more responsibility. However, the third servant, who has merely returned the single talent, is reprimanded for his lack of initiative and the talent is taken away from him. This parable is a profound lesson on the virtues of responsibility and diligence. It goes beyond the literal interpretation of financial investment and speaks to the broader theme of stewardship. It highlights the importance of using our resources and abilities, not just for our own benefit, but for the benefit of others as well. Jesus, in his infinite wisdom, used this story to teach us that we are all entrusted with talents. They may be our skills, time or resources. It is our responsibility to use these talents wisely, not to bury them out of fear or laziness. We are called to be diligent, to work hard and to multiply these talents for the good of all. In essence, the parable of the talents teaches us that we are accountable for what we have been given. It's not about the amount of talent we have, but how we use it. It's about taking initiative, being proactive, and making the most of our abilities. It's about serving others and contributing to the greater good. In this parable, Jesus imparts the virtues of diligence and responsibility. Having navigated through these parables, it's time to reflect on what we've learned. In the heart of Jesus' teachings lies the essence of virtues. Virtues that are not merely words or ideas, but a way of life, a roadmap to a meaningful existence. His parables serve as timeless reminders of these virtues, each one illustrating a unique facet of human character. Consider the parable of the Good Samaritan. Here Jesus teaches us about compassion and kindness. The Good Samaritan, despite societal norms, showed compassion towards a stranger in need. It's a call to break barriers and reach out to others, even when it's inconvenient. Kindness is not about convenience, it's about caring deeply and acting selflessly. Then we have the parable of the prodigal son, a powerful depiction of forgiveness and redemption. The father forgives his wayward son, welcoming him back with open arms. Jesus emphasizes that no one is beyond redemption, and forgiveness is a virtue that liberates both the giver and the receiver. The parable of the talents, on the other hand, underscores the virtues of responsibility and diligence. Each servant was given talents, but it was their responsibility to use them wisely. It's a reminder that we all have gifts and it's our duty to use them to the best of our abilities. These parables and Jesus' teachings on virtues are not just stories from a time long past. They are timeless principles that can be applied in our daily lives. They encourage us to embody compassion, forgive generously and work Work diligently, making the world a better place one act at a time. Remember, virtues are not just abstract concepts, but practical guides for how we live our lives. As Jesus taught, it's not about who we are, but how we treat others that truly defines our character.